how the heck do I get this pump to work again? And maybe it just needs fuel, I don't know. Oh, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 at Franklin's Garage. Today what we're going to be doing is I went, took the initiative and I went to the junkyard and I grabbed this F350. Yeah, it's kind of missing a few parts and it's mostly complete though for the most part. And uh, what I'm planning on doing to it is taking out this, what motor's in it, uh, the V8 Ford Boss rear wheel drive. I'm planning on putting in a V8 dual overcam, dual overhead cam supercharged, which hopefully it'll make upwards of about 15 to 1600 horsepower if it's done correctly. I'm um, still debating on the wheels and tires because since this is a two wheel drive, I don't know if I want to stick the large monstrous tires that are on my 4x4 version of this truck. Um, I don't know. I'll have to just wait and see on what looks good and what may or may not. It's hard to say. Anyway, we're going to get into it here by washing the interior like always, and then we're going to do the body, see how well this works. Uh, take it the truck with black. Oops, wrong, wrong button. Yep, it was black, but it ain't going to be black, I promise you that. We're going to do a little bit of a different color job. And you're going to see just about what that is right now, because then we're going to go and start painting the parts. So away we go to the paint shop. And once again, you're going to see a part in here that's already been painted because, well, there, see, this is what I'm planning on doing. A different version, something different than what I normally do, that's for sure. But different, different is always better, is it not? Alright, we're going to do these now. Purple. Not really a dark purple, but a nice light purple. Oh, crap. Okay. This may take me a minute to figure this one out when I'm starting to uh, actually um, assemble it, we'll say. Because, uh, yeah. Ooh, that's a nice purple. See, that's the color it's supposed to be. But instead, we get the what the wheel cylinder is back there. Or, yeah. And, well, this is what we get, so. It is what it is. So, uh, there may be a little bit of trial and error on the front part here, because smart me forgot to get rid of the other color that was there. Oops. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. So how's everyone doing tonight? Hope everyone's doing good. Hope everyone had a good day. I know I did. I'm just trying to go over all the colors in my head of what color is going to be what and so on and so forth. I mean, that's my uh, booting actually started to work. I'd be superb. Uh oh. Oh no, I did the right color. Crazy me. Ooh, that's bright. That's hot pink. Neon pink. Yeah, those are going to be going black. So the next piece I have is the block. Now let's see which one. Ooh, actually that purple looks nice on that block, doesn't it? Hmm. Now the reason why I'm having an issue with that is because you know my style. And whatever color the body is, is normally whatever color I do the, cro the cross member in the front. Now, because the cross member will be going... Well, maybe I'll actually change it up a bit this time around. Maybe I'll do the cross member purple. Well, maybe I'll do the truck purple too. Eh. Nah, we'll do it like this. And like I said, it's really pointless to paint these heads because you don't really see anything anyway. Once the valve cover's on, you don't... Whoa, that's too bright. You don't see anything anyway, so... It's just better off to. I'm gonna finish this one. There we 
we go. It's just better off to not even waste time and paint the head, so. Alright, what we got going here? Uh, uh, slight difference. Yeah, that works. Then I can do. Uh, where are you? Right here. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Certain parts it looks pink. Other other parts it looks purple. All right, that's done. I gotta do this. Got to do that. Got to do everything. Uh, where are we? Let's see. Mm, we're gonna figure out this right here. Holy! Doesn't get any brighter than that, huh? Wow, that's a bright color. <laughs> Skipped right by the cross member. <laughs> and that's something funny. Well, I guess this time around we'll do the cross member now. Hey, this time around what I did is I, when I made the color, I made it so you didn't see as much as the black lines that were in it, the dark colors. Because, like I said, I'm not really a fan of that. So. We'll do these purple. And we'll do the spring plates we're going to do these almost like that neon hot pink and then we're going to do the um, the uh, u-bolts we're going to do them popo as well so it should look alright when it's done I'm hoping anyway there's no guarantees. Alright. Like I said, I have no idea what this is even going to look like when we're done. So, hopefully it turns out okay. Hopefully it looks alright. Uh, this has got to go... Nope. Uh, here we go again. This time around what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the power steering pump and the alternator. Uh, we're going to leave them... Uh oh, that's bright. Huh, what else am I missing here? may actually be too much. To be honest, because I got the valve covers. Luckily the oil pan will be on uh, purple. Uh, what do we got going on here? Wow, that's bright red. Whew. Hey, I'm basically out of colors to paint here. For the pink, I think everything else now is going to be purple. Huh. Okay. Purple it is. Alright. Who would have ever thunk? Now something's telling me I'm missing parts. Wouldn't be wouldn't be me if I didn't. Right? I tend to do that on in my shop here. Then I'm scr running around like a chicken with my head cut off the last two minutes trying to get everything done. Ooh, that's got a nice gloss to it, doesn't it? Looks all shiny. Shiny. We like shiny. Uh, ok, 
Okay, now it's this. Just to help break it up because the valve covers are gonna be that hot pink, so that's way then. It looks okay. Hopefully anyway. Mm -hmm. are done. Oh yeah, we're gonna do the shocks now in the springs. And uh, I'm thinking this time we're gonna do hot pink. Hot pink for the spring. And then we're gonna do our typical black for the shock absorber. I'm trying to figure out on what to do is uh, the wheels and tires. I'm probably gonna put, I'm probably gonna make it more like a drag truck, but um, it's hard to say. I might put off road tires on, just not very big ones. I wish I could change the color of the butterflies, but like I said, it is what it is. Alright, first things first, we're going to head over here, get this motor built. Once the motor's built, I'm going to go over and do the suspension. Create a motor, we're going to go V8 dual overhead cam supercharged. It's already flipped upside down, put a little fuel filter on it. Have it suspended in there with attached to nothing. Eh. I'm not really a fan of this color, but I can make it work. I mean that is bright. That's hard on the eyes. Holy smokes. I didn't realize it was gonna be that bad. Now we're gonna put the performance pistons in. And if you look up in the top right corner of the screen, you can see where I have uh, blue with the two. Um, what that does is it increases the uh, per performance percentage of the part and it also increases the value of the part. Now, dumb me, I went and made uh, one of the cheap skylines in this here and I went and did the motor completely, used all my points up there you can see I guess and not even thinking I sold the car without pulling the motor oops accidents happen just ask me shop dog and he'll tell you but if you guys have any ideas for colors um, anything at all drop a comment let me know tell me what you think about the build so far Tell me what you think that uh, I can do better. I'm always open for suggestions, always. What the? Wow, that's like, wow. Not really much difference, eh? Huh. Oh well. We shall manage. Alright. Time to flip the motor. And when it comes to this motor, always start with this side first. Because even if you put the other side on, you can't put the timing belts on. They gotta go on this side first. So it just makes things a little bit easier. If you know what I mean. Spark plugs, four per side. And I believe I am actually missing the coil covers. Which that just would not surprise me. And when it comes time to putting the valve covers on, you got to put them on before you put the throttle body on. And it just makes sense to do the other side first because that's the side that the throttle body's on. So 
like I said, to get this these timing belts on, you got to have this side done already. So, power steering pump, alternator, cylinder head number two. Yeah, I like to spice it up a little bit. And once I get, come on. And once I get the ti other timing belt on, and I throw the front timing cover on, then what I'll do is then I'll put the, the supercharger stuff on, so that way then I'm able to attach a belt to it. For the supercharger. I have another one of these trucks in my garage, it's saved. It's a red one, I gotta redo the front wheels on there. They look a little scrawny. Um, but that one I believe is making 15 or 1600 horsepower, so I'm hoping I can get close to that, if not the same, out of this one. I hope I can, I hope I can, I hope I can. But I'm kind of doing things a little half ass backwards today. Alright, supercharger belt. Belt tension now. Yeah, it's got a little bit different color, I guess. Probably should have did the, uh, should have did it black and pink. Would look a little bit nicer, a little less uh, contrasty, we can say. Holy smokes, that is bright! I still gotta buy the fuse box for it, uh, the ABS pump module. Like I said, I don't believe I have the coil covers, I think I forgot to buy them. Yep, okay. Minor detail. this fuel injector rail in and we'll do this cover gosh darn that's hard on the eyes and yes I'm a Chevy guy at heart but a Ford in this game is pretty decent actually they actually drive pretty good all right Minus the coil covers, the motor is finished. Well, and the oil pump, oil filter. All right, let's uh, we'll do the electronics first. Uh, do I got a battery? Eh, I better buy one just in case. Never hurts. Uh, do I got a starter? Yeah, we're we're at the shop. We're at the store here. This may as well figure it out. Alright, coil cover, coil cover, right there, perfect, let me head over to the paint shop real quick, get these four things knocked out of the park, oh, I thought it was going to be quick, there they are, there's one, Oh yeah, looks kind of decent. It's got a little bit of contrast anyway versus the bright, uh, huh. I hope I got the right one. What we're going to see is how hard it is to see the, um, fuse spots. When it comes time to putting them all in. And like I said, I do not recommend the color white. Not for the fuse box anyway. Because it is a pain to see. Alright, click we head over to the engine. Throw these two. I forgot the oil filter. Oh well. Oh well. Yeah, it throws a little bit of contrast on it. 
not really much different, but there's just enough to say, hey, look at that, we're different. I guess you can kind of see the difference on it. Perfect. We'll leave you here, and now we're going to start on the truck. Oh, better put these things together. Oh, that's been on for a while. Like I said, I don't have any inclination on what wheels I want at all for this thing. Uh, I guess we're going to rip all the junky body panels off. Take out the headlights, front bumper. Both doors on the driver's side. Anything else? No. Nope. Tail light and bumper on the rear. I'm gonna bring over the um, um, welder. The moot tang's already been done, so. Thousand bucks, eh? You know what? I have an idea. Now we're gonna go the same size wheels that are on the truck right now. Sorry about that, I had sneeze. Alright, up in the air she goes. And then I can get this motor ripped out. Drive shaft, transmission. I was debating whether or not to put the Coyote V8 in it, but but my heart said more power, more power. So supercharged V8 one. Get out of there, thank you. Let me raise you back up. Let me start disassembly. Start the rear, work our way forward. Take out everything in between. Take out this. Hello, there it is. Take out the small. Take out the bushings on the leaf springs first. from going slower. Whew. Easter might be here. Axle. This is one of my favorite style of rears to do. Simple, easy, right to the point. Except when you gotta spray every leaf spring bolt. And it's not so much fun anymore. These ones all seem to be coming out pretty easily. Take out this middle muffler, rear exhaust pipe. Let's see, of course I would buy the wrong one. Won't be me if I didn't, huh? All right, other shock. U bolts. Aha, I got a spray you. The outer U bolt. Of course, goes for that too. Dang, that bush is stuck. Alright, this can go bye bye. Not bad, one stuck on the wheels, that's not too bad. Caliper, pads, rotor. Wheel hub three. Oh, 
actual wheel hub tree and then the uh I'm not understanding why they call it wheel hub. And the rear axle. And we're gonna hop off. Go over to here. Start right here again. There's my little cursor area. The shock, we take you off the outer tie rod. If I can find there, it is. Dang, it's almost like the thing doesn't want to participate in nothing. Oh, I take the three bar link off. I take the caliper, the stuck bolt, of course, pads, rotors. Dust cap, wheel bearing, wheel hub with two stuck bolts. Backing plate, knuckle, knuckle, knuckle. Alright, give me the front bushing, would you? Gotta have that one stuck bolt. Normally, I'd say lug nut, but there are bolts in this. I mean, it's all good, right? Whatever holds the wheel on. Take the sway bar link out with the stuck bolt or stuck nut and all. Now we take out the sway bar B, steering rack, upper control arm. Shock, or strut I mean, or coil over, whichever anybody wants to call it. Now the cross member, now we start working on everything over here. Dust cap, wheel bearing, caliper, of course, gotta start with the, you know, the brake pads, the rotor, Hub. Ooh, not stuck. Nice. The shield. Alright. I believe we are done. Now, this is what? 275.65? So we'll go 275.70.20. Alright, let's see. Tires. I go drag truck. We'll do matching all the way around. Two, well, we're gonna go a little bit wider than what's on there. We'll go 365. Uh, yeah, we'll go 65. And uh, maybe we'll go 70. Yeah, we'll go 65. Alright, now we gotta actually head back to the paint shop so I can get the wheels painted. I'm really caught in a crossfire and I don't know if to do them chrome or to do them the body color. Kind of stuck right now with that. Ooh, we gotta get rid of all the little parts. Not bad. 1200 bucks I made off of those. Not bad. But to get those blue things, you can either get them by opening up uh, crates or you can take your used parts and uh, uh, I'll do this color right here. Whether, like I said, whether or not this truck turns out and looks decent, I don't have a clue. I'm just hoping it does. Well, 
let's go join the wheels. Put them together. Yeah, it may not fit. Oh, too late now, right? Perfect. I hope. Alright. First things first. This piece. Oh yes. I gotta fix my screw up I made earlier. There we go. BV8. Now we put the diff in. Holy smoke, yeah, there is a difference on color, I'll tell you that much. Wow. Oh, yeah, you can spot the difference. Looks pretty decent, actually. I didn't figure you'd be able to tell the difference between the U-bolts and uh, the diff for color wise. Put the rear small bushing in. Holy, oh, is that ever close to the exhaust? That's real close. Of course, you know, gives me that one. And this time we're putting in the expensive rotors, carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Holy smoke. Yeah, it's going to be a tight fit. I'm actually going to buy. Oops, wrong one. The rear just to see if it actually fits. Oh, that's not good. I'll maybe change them out before the wheel alignment there. It's got good width, but I don't like how that looks. So I have a feeling I'm going to be changing the tire size. I'm a stickler for details like that. The tires have to fit nicely inside the wheel wells or I won't use them. Now the biggest challenge will be when I put the front ones on and how badly that's going to be screwed up. Because I'm so smart, I should have known. Bigger tire, lower down the ratio. Hey, I got it on the right side this time. Cool. Rotor, caliper, or pads, and then caliper. Now I put the wheel on. Finish the exhaust on this side. And at the front. Gotta go performance, man. All the way. Holy, that is bright. 
That's neon pink. Hello, bushing. Let's go. I need eight more bushings after this last one gets put in for the upper and lower control arms on both sides. Other inner tie rod, wheel knuckle, steering knuckle, whatever you want to call it. Outer tie rod, upper control arm. Oh, wrong one. I should have made that a little bit darker next time. Uh, this one. I think. Oh, I got the right one. Nice. I was worried about that. How many times I'd have to redo it. Did it again. Huh. I'm uh, forgetting a few steps here. I've forgotten quite a few steps here. Luckily, I can go through the opening on the wheel. <laughs> Ooh, I got them both. I hope that's the right color one. If not, yeah, not much I can do about it now. Almost reminds me back in the day those hot wheel color changer cars. front I think well, I won't be turning that's for sure all right well we're gonna lower this down go grab the note here actually first what we're gonna do is we're gonna do under the hood probably got a few things to take out yeah I got this to take out and of course, the typical, you know, fuse box and fuses and relays. Pretty sure that would be everything. We're going to start over here this time. And we'll throw that in play. Nice. I remembered it. Actually, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I can dig it. Skip one. There we go. Let's skip two. Last fuse in and put the cover on and focus on the next thing. Airbox. This is gonna be bright. Yep. Ooh, that's hard on the eyes. Well, at least it's easy to see where the clips gotta go though. Eh, I guess the clips are a little bit different shade. Last time I'm probably going to do one this color for a while. Keep moving our way around. Alright, I'm going to put this on now. The module. It's 
sorry for the uh, sniffles and stuff. My uh, nose is still a bit plugged, so I'm trying to fight with that and do this. Alright, time to rotate you around. Take you off the engine stand, go install you in the truck. Then might do the truck black. I'm really undecided on what color to paint it. I really am. Sorry about that, just had to take a drink myself. A little bit of dry throat. I got a question for people out there. How many of you have heard of a dog that has a chicken allergy? Where's it's a chicken? My new shop dog I just got, well, he's allergic to chicken. Weird. First one I've ever seen that's allergic. Alright, now we do one, two, three, four. This will be the last one. Perfect. Now we back up out of here, put the truck up in the air. While we're doing that, oh wait. While we're doing that, we're gonna finish buying the rest of the parts. Uh, right door. Uh, I don't need two headlights, not for that side anymore. No, I don't need two of them either. St sticky mouse. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's everything. I'll hop back up under here, get to the motor, put the transmission in. Stutter. I did put the battery in. Yes, I did. Now we put the drive shaft in. and send this bad boy to paint and shop. Huh, what's it sound like? I never put the fuel pump in. I'm so smart. See that? I'm a genius. Now, if I do it now, it will fire right up. You could say I purposely did that, you know, I had to prime uh, the motor, so, you know. Alright, left fender, hood. Dang, this truck's big. The headlights. The doors, the window, the mirror. Pretty big vehicle too. I mean, like it's not small. It's got some girth to it, we'll say. Well, I wonder if when I align it, if it'll play a difference in centering out the wheels. I hope it does. Because it's a pain to change the wheels. I don't know if it's better on this side. What about over here? Well, actually, there's a gap right there that I can see, and there's a gap in the front. So, perfect. I don't got to change the wheels. Nice. Holy. Hey, look at that. It's color changing.
There we go. I don't believe this truck comes with any stripes. Of course it does. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Yeah. There we go. Right there. Perfect. I'll bring it over to the alignment shop. Nah, we don't need to go there. I'll bring it over to the test path or alignment center is what I call it. <laughs> Whoa, she's a bit off. Maybe I might be changing the wheel size after all. Eh. We got a bit of gap there. Don't really have much gap there. One burn on. I'm going to be cutting the tire into the uh, rear fender, so the box side. Well, that was an easy one. Dang! So was that. Now we are going to see. Aha! A windshield. You playing tricks on me. All right. Now we're going to go see what kind of power it makes. First off, we're going to go see what the tune percentage is. When we look at the computer here, we're going to go over to... We're at a 3% increase in performance right now. Alright, let's fire the older off. We'll have 762 horsepower, 693 foot-pounds of torque from stock, figuratively speaking. We look through, you can see the wheels spin. Holy, 1,583, 1,410, I'm pretty happy with those numbers, let's see if we can bump it up just a tad bit more, huh, 9%, can we go 12? My greatest one on here so far has been 16% increase. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Alright. Top yet 9, we'll stay at 9. Hopefully it makes 1600, that'd be awesome. Sixteen thirty-two horsepower and fourteen seventy-two torque. Wow. Huh. Not bad. Not too shabby at all. I can dig it. Probably the most horsepower F three fifty in the planet here. Yeah, we gotta do the windows too. Gots to do them. Do the windshield a little bit lighter tint. Oh yeah, it looks alright. See what it looks like in the sun. Whoo, she bright. Alright guys, please like, share, and subscribe. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching another episode of Franklin's Garage and Car Mechanics Simulator 2021. Uh, once again, please like, share, and subscribe, and I shall see you on the next one. Have a good one. Bye.